I will keep the intro short this time. Um, I'm trying to get in some clips before it turns dark. Quick thing about this video, I am back in my old hometown, about to skate my old home park, which is also my favorite skate park. Not because of the spots uh, in particular, but just uh, been here for so many years, it just feels like home. And yeah, I'm just gonna get into it, gonna wax up the park, gonna get some tricks in, maybe do a bit of talking afterwards. What a stupid tradition. Just bringing up a pile of wood to burn it down. Name a park with a better view than this one. All right, so after all, I did manage to get some tricks. Um, I wanted to skate every single spot, but there was either not enough time or the spots were just constantly occupied. For example, that step up ledge spot, which I always enjoyed to skate, uh, was just constantly occupied by either kids or parents or whatever, and there was stuff laying around. So I was not trying to to discuss or argue too much rather than just get some clips. You might notice with some clips that I just felt comfortable with the park. That's just because this is like my second home or at least it used to be. I haven't skated this park in I think six months now. And it shows, especially on the flat rail, which was basically the spot I was skating all day. And the trick about this spot is well, first of all, it's a, a bank to rail setup, which is not too, well, not too common in any other skate park, I think, or at least not in the parks that I'm skating now in Vienna. And getting back to it is just different, but also the bank is uh, kind of in an angle. So when you're approaching tricks with the rail on your right side, it's, um, it's just 
weird to, to approach. I, I don't know how to say it exactly. And also, if you do top sights or something, it always looks like you're um, you're approaching from the middle. Or not always, but with certain camera angles. For some reason, the most skatable spot right now, because there were a lot of kids and um, usually they tend to just roll around the flat rail and that always bothered me, but now it just kind of worked. About the other spots I skated, it would more or less, uh, it was just more or less the, the regular kind of approach that I would have to the spot. I was not trying to get too um, creative or new with anything. I just wanted to get some clips and just land some tricks actually. So I just went with the usual. Well, anyway, that's my take on the park now. It's just a, well, that was like a 15 minute session now, but still was pretty fun. And like I said, it, it might not be the best skate park that you can find out there, but it's just that happy place, you know? And I'm sure everyone that watches this knows what I'm talking about. Like you don't have to have the best skate park around. It might just be one obstacle that caught your eye and um, just makes you want to revisit a, a, a park or a spot over and over. And for me, it's just this park right here. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. If you liked it, like this video, you know the whole deal. For some reason, I keep going over with this and I always say you know the whole thing. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe especially because um, I got something pretty interesting for a thousand subscriber special and I'm getting really close there. I think I'm at 770 by this point now. So this might just be an approachable goal by the end of, let's say, May. And until then, I have a few other videos in the works and I'm looking forward to dropping these or, well, now making these and tune in for, for the next video and until then keep skating.